Africans are very diverse. If I compare, say, the San to uh, the Yoruba or something like that, they're not very similar to each other genetically. And in fact, at the level of, of the genetic diversity, about the same level of genetic diversity as if I compared uh, the San to a population like the Karatiana that live in, um, in South America. The biggest mistake that any individual could make would be to assume that all Africans look the same. Genetic variance explains to us that the older the population, the more differences you will encounter. When you look at the genetic variation today in anatomic human homo sapiens, there is more variation among Africans than there is among Eurasians or uh, any other um, populations around the world. Now think about this. Why do we have more variation among Africans than we have among Eurasians? What that means is the, the gene flow has been going on for much longer time in Africa than it did in the other parts of the world. Indeed, Africa does have the largest amount of genetic diversity in the world. You'll never find a place in the world where people are so different genetically. So why is that and what does it mean? DNA is the molecule that actually forms our genes. Each of us have inherited 50% of our genes from our mother and 50% of our genes from our father. But sometimes the genes that we receive from our parents aren't copied correctly by us, thus causing the gene to change. This is what's known as a mutation. Now mutations are not a bad thing. Actually, they're a good thing because without them, all humans will look the same. Mutations occur in each generation. Simply put, the more mutations that occur over time, the more genetic diversity will occur. For example, the origins of our species have been traced back to Africa roughly 200,000 years ago. Now, if a generation is 20 years, then that's 10,000 generations of genes mutating. This explains why Africans look so different because so much time has accumulated to form changes in their genes. On the flip side, the younger the population, the less genetic diversity occurs. In other words, there are less mutations that have occurred over time. 